There, above the carriage, some sort of hoist. Come on, let's find a way there. Can you make it? Mm-hmm. What is this place? Whoa! Why are there robots hanging in the sky? Uh, this place looks a little bit different. We should split. Okay. This place looks like some type of robot sanctuary. Oh. These lights. <sighs> okay. Crap. Richard! I'm trapped! Maybe I can help! Can you really? We have to work together, Lydia! I get it, but like, I feel like I can't tell what I'm supposed to be doing. That's the thing. There's a monitor here. Uh, I guess I'll try going to Lydia. Yeah, there's doors. The doors come down at some point. Somewhere. There's one here. But I'm too small right now. I can't even tell where I'm going. Okay, look, we're right in front of it. But we gotta make it into a situation where both of us are right in front of it. We could go through here. No. Oh. Not quite. Maybe B? I'm not sure what the difference between both of these are. Is it just directional differences? Yeah, we get- we have a bit of a map here, but... Not yet. Try again. A. Oh, but that side has a gate. So we have to do it on one end specifically. That's why on the map, there is a red line. Yeah, it shows a red line on that side. Um, just past Lydia. Okay, let's look around. Whoa. I didn't want to call. All I wanted to do was switch to Lydia. Let's have a look around first. Because we're not trapped in here right now. Hmm. What is this place? Oh, I think this is where Richard is. Except Richard is not here? Oh, this is another place entirely. Okay, yeah, that... That's different. Okay, we just have to figure out how this works. The angles are definitely different. Uh, okay, so the green is saying that this moves at about like that... 120 degrees? But then if you go to Richard, this one here only moves 90 degrees. Ah, uh, okay, so we gotta get it to the point where Lydia was standing earlier. And I think we'll be okay. Switch A and B just means direction, I think. See, so not only do we have to get it so that we can reach it, we have to make it so that the gates aren't down. That's the annoying thing too. Let's try this. That's a little bit too much. Nope. Yum. 90 degrees. What about now? 90 degrees, 90 degrees, and then 120, back the other way. Ah! Oh. That's it! No! Now the other gate is closed! God 
damn, not only do we have to get the right platform, yeah. So now we have it in the right place, but the gates are closed. <laughs> okay, I can hardly visualize this in my head, this is insane. Let's try going Richard, because Richard's goes in 90 degrees, if we do it four times. Actually, that wouldn't change anything, would it? <laughs> Help me, God! Help me! Again, again, uh, Lydia. I'm pretty sure we can mathematically solve this one. But why do that when we can just do it randomly and hope that we get it? <laughs> okay, um... Now! That's it! Math is overrated! <laughs> we did it! This side is the gated side, so what I gotta do is walk back to the other side so that we can get in. Which is not this side, right? Because this should be where Richard is. Yup. Who the heck made this? What is this place? Again! <laughs> Why is there such a complicated train puzzle here? The gate's open! Up ahead. That must be it. Okay. So are we going in? What if they shoot? I should go first. No. No. Forget about it. I'm going first. Don't be an idiot. I'm as good as dead anyway. Lydia! No, we'll like upload you or something. Oh, seriously? Somebody liked hanging robots, wherever that place was. <coughs> we are at breakpoint. Nobody's there. I can't believe it. Look, here, in that chair. Why would they not have just gone up together? That is so strange. Oh, whoa. Jeff. That's Jeff. Jeff Kozowski. He's not moving. Is he alive? It's an upload unit. They actually managed to build one. Do you think it works? Seems to. His body is alive, but he isn't here. So, he's up there, in City 5. Yep. He's on his mission, looking for the servers. If he finds them, it's all over. He's so familiar. Let's cut off his way back here. Come on. Lydia doesn't remember, because they wiped her memories. The fact that they were working on her. <sighs> Alright, Jeff. Now you're stuck up there. Unless he finds another body to download into. But not here. We're in charge of what happens here now. If we want to download Tracy and James, we need to find out how to do it. Even if we could, their bodies aren't here. Simon, send him the coordinates. Do you really think he'll do it? He'll do what is right. Maybe this is partially confusing because we don't really know how the rules of the, um, the uploading and downloading work in this world. I was just gonna ask before we remove Jeff, like, how was this gonna work if we forcibly take his body away? Is he just dead or... But no, it seems like he's just stuck up in the cloud instead. Kind of reminds me a little bit of how it works in Altered Carbon. The thing with the stacks and stuff. Okay, we have to find out how this whole thing works. Look at this. Those are the Montauk databases. Part of them anyway. Kazowski must have stolen them. These are the VR plans. There's a download interface in a big building in the center. The dome. That's where John needs to go. 
I have to talk to him. Do you have his contact? Yep, here. The dome. John! Oh, that's why they made Richard meet John a little bit earlier, huh? Remember when John was like, hey, hi Richard? When his dad wasn't looking? His dad, Adam! Oh my god, what's happening with Adam right now? I don't even... Oh, what? Oh. Calibration key. Okay, we have John as a contact, but we can't use calling right now. Got any bright ideas, Lydia? Where can I get signal? Over there. Is that inside you? There you go. Calls are working again. Turn away from the wall. Uh, do we want to do it next to Lydia? I know we don't have to, but I feel like that would be nice. <laughs> and, uh, unconscious Kasowski. Status public. No profession, no company. Your son! Lives in City 5, likes drawing pictures. James. Relationship. Your son lives in Berlin. They don't quite look the same. No. Weird. John. Oh, thank God. Listen, we don't have much time. A man, someone from Breakpoint, is up there with you. If he finds the servers... He won't. He's not smart enough. He's human. Human? What do you want from us? What I want? What I mean is... I saw the recordings you sent. You have? But that's fantastic! <laughs> and? Do you understand now that we- I understand. For the better. Is- Is something not right? Is there something you want to ask me? I've seen you. With her. Your lover. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, but that- That is not- Not- Not you what you think- You despise mom. You hate me. So what do you want from us? No! What makes you say that? She wasn't pretty enough for you. You didn't want a child. You don't want us. And we don't want you! John, you can't have seen that in the recording. It didn't happen like that. You are my family. I have to go. John, I swear to you- I'm sorry. John, wait! <sighs> Lydia. I'm sorry. <coughs> I am sorry. He was completely right, Richard. You did say all that. I said much more than that. Even if there are things you can't simply take back. Uh, I can't take it anymore. I need to find that data. He needs to watch it again, all of it. Oh, so there were sections omitted that we should have seen? Well, just because you say nice things doesn't mean you never said bad things, though. I love how John was like, You hate mom, you hate me, you were cheating on her with that woman. And I was like, hey, it would be nice if we had the call right in front of Lydia. <laughs> exactly the opposite of that. Okay, find it, let's find it. What you uploaded for Adam was the data from this database. Yes. Got it. But we can't send it to Adam to look at anymore. John! John is gonna look at it. Sometimes I think he's not really my son. As if she just inserted him into my life. That really does sound awful. Does James know? God, no. Well, maybe he senses it. I don't know. You don't love your own son? No, of course I love him. I love him more than anything else in the world. I want to get closer to him. I want us to be father and son. For us to be happy. Oh. You get me? Yes. Richard was right. Don't you get it, Henry? He didn't lie. I remember now. I remember everything. But John, if you're not real, then I can't be your friend. <laughs> that hurts my feelings. <laughs> feelings come out of your happy brain, remember? I am real. I'm just not real here. 
I have to go back to my family, my proper family. I have to call Richard. What about? That's an object from the real world. I can see it. I can see the other side. Wait, so John is special in that he's like a special super AI thing, but he's from the real world? As in, like, his body has been transferred here? I don't think so, because he's in... Yeah, he's in this fake reality right now. His real name should be James. What exactly did you watch there at Adam's Cloud Hub? None of your business, Henry. I could tell you another story. Or we could paint a picture together. Or play a game. Henry, there's no point in telling me a story, or painting, or playing with me. Because I'm not me. You have to help me. I have to talk to Richard. Henry, I have no cohesion in me, you feel me? <laughs> we gotta get that cohesion back. How about by playing the piano? We haven't played- Oh no! I don't know how to play the piano! Oh, that's from Dad! Saturday evening, John, buddy. I'll be home a bit later this evening. I'm sure the food assembler will take care of you. If you're going back to your real family, then what about Adam? What about Adam? How do we contact Richard? Do we just... call? Sorry, no connection could be made. Contact City 5 Services if this condition continues. Come on! We could go visit Dr. Sykes. Dr. Sykes is your friend. He can help you. You have to help me, Henry. Everyone else is a liar. Dr. Sykes, the governor, Amy, Adam, they all lie. The bot network. Maybe it'll work with the bot network. But I'm just a toy, John. I have no access to the higher levels. Imagine the network as a big onion. Not now, Henry. <laughs> I need to restore the connection. What's that right behind us? Oh my god. Do you see? It's home. I can see it. I can see everything now. How many do we need? Just those two? I can kind of hear something whirling around here. Yeah. Is three the magic number? Or is there more? What about Granddad? No, you hear it. You can hear it. Really? Oh. On the other side? Oh. What is that? Module. For cloud calling? One last look. John. Apparently we have to head off to the dome. According to Richard. How about now? Oh. Whoa, that's like half half done, half not done. Sorry. No can We could go visit Dr. Do they no. Okay, yeah. I need to restore the connection. We need more. We already got a piece in here. Visualize your life. Oh. Oh, Sally! I, I, I forgot you were here! Wait. Here. The ring! The proposal! Sally! Mom? John, it's late. You should be in bed. Sally, can you access your network? Can you bypass the locks? I'm sorry, John. I can't help you. I am damaged. Someone will come to pick me up. Why do you remember, Sally? Who are you really? I'm your nanny, John. Who else? But I'm damaged. Not able to compute. You're not damaged, Sally. You're just not yourself anymore. Just like me. There are differing opinions about that. 
I think I know who you are. I think you're not even a robot. Of course I am, John. A Y-series android. Forget all of that. I think just the fact that Tracy wanted to upload herself as a new person, but then she turned out to become a android against her wills. I assume it's against her wills because who would want to be an android if you can be human? Like that, just that alone seems to point to the fact that this whole thing is kind of evil and could be manipulated by bad people very easily. Would a robot break a glass? No. Maybe you did, because you're not a robot. Or because I'm damaged. If I disappeared, would you be sad? Of course. Even if I was some other kid? I do not know. I am your nanny. I am pre-programmed for you. I think you're more than my nanny. I do not understand, John. She doesn't believe me. I have to try something else. Damaged robots must be reported and recalibrated. Shut up, Henry. Show her the picture of Tracy and James. You see? That's us. You and me. No. Look at it. No. The Oh, the ring! The ring! She remembers having a ring on her finger. My ring. That is my ring. Sally, robots don't wear rings. Shut up, Henry. No. I do remember. Therefore, I must be damaged. Do you remember this? This item is not in my database. But the melody. Do you remember the melody? Yes. I believe I do. Don't. Mm. Oh! It's my fault. Sally? Oh no, even her hairstyle is just like Tracy's. James. James, I'm so sorry. James? It was an accident. I couldn't rescue you. I tried, but... There was just so much blood. But I'm still alive! They said they could help you. What should I have done? I had to believe them. I am here. You did rescue me. It's not the same, James. Being here and being alive is not the same. Then let's go home. Please, you have to disrupt the bot network. We have to talk to Richard. Please, Mom. I am ready. Thank you. I now have full access to family data. Richard. Mom. During the car accident, though, James wasn't even born yet. So the way... Mm. So they had the accident, and James wasn't born at the time, and supposedly he died, but then Tracy ran into people who were like, okay, that's okay, we can save him for you. And that's how this whole super AI thing started? James. My god. Uh, listen, I understand that you... It's really not what it looks like. I know, Dad. I saw it all. <sighs> yeah? And? You told the truth. Yeah. But you shouldn't have done it, despite everything. I know. Let me make it up to you. Make everything up to you. I miss you, kid. Come home. I don't know if that's possible. And I don't know if I can. You can. We'll help you. Okay? Mom's here too, but she isn't quite herself yet. We have to get you to the dome. Wait here. I'll see what I can do. Okay. What about Adam, though? Hey there, kiddo. Hey, Dad. Speak of the devil. What are you doing? Hide and seek. With Henry. That's nice. Listen, I, uh, I won't be coming home tonight. Amy and I are at the opening of Project Independence. Will you be okay alone? Sally will take care of you. It's okay. Great. Stay in the apartment, okay? You'll be needed. Okay. Dad? Hmm? Hmm? What, John? Oh! Goodbye. <laughs> John, we'll see each other again tomorrow. Behave, okay?
It's the clinic bots. Henry, you have to win some time. Your father would not like it, John. Adam isn't my father. Lock the door. Oh, finally, Henry coming to the rescue here. What do I gotta do, though? The Cloud Hub? Oh... Betty? It's me, Henry. You have a new message from Aunt Joan. Aunt Joan? How do I see the message? I can't. John isn't here. Hello, John. It's your great Aunt Joan here. How are you? I thought maybe we could play a game together today. Give me a call if you want to. Okay. Can we do that? Let's just stay away. Aunt Joan, you're not even online. We have to get you to the dome. Wait here. I'll see what I can I'm do. I'm too small to open the door. <laughs> Henry MVP. I don't know who locked it. Whoa. Who would want to lock me in? Whoa. I know, Betty. Some humans are very irresponsible. Richard. Richard is doing something. I'd love to, Betty, but John isn't here. He's outside. I don't know. I'm just a toy. I'm afraid we're talking in circles, Betty. I haven't seen that note before. Betty? Please don't leave the apartment, John. They're predicting a really strong earthquake. From Valerie. Whoa, 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 whoa. John? John? What's going on here? I don't... John, wait! Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I don't know. I don't know who that is. I just want to look at the note. Dear John, Adam and I will be coming home later today. Please stay in the apartment and wait for the clinic bots. There's more and more notes. Note from Minerva. Don't forget, you are what counts, John. You. Because you are City 5, and elsewhere, you are nothing. So stay at home, and have a wonderful day. Time to go to bed, John. Sleep now. Lie down and get some rest. Betty will be here soon. Don't do anything silly, John. Okay, well, we gotta go. A car just crashed in my... my dad's room. I could tell you another story. Or we could paint a picture together. Or play a game. Henry, there's no point in telling me a story. Or painting, or because I'm not me. Oh, Henry. You just gotta come with me, buddy. I'm warning you, stay where you are. Valerie knows. She's coming! Don't be unreasonable. John, you can't fly alone. Mom? <gasps> Heck yeah. Henry's here too! <laughs> this is my real family here. Don't care too much about Amy, but I do feel bad for Adam. She has shut herself down again. Should I try to wake her? There's no time. She'll catch up. Let's go, Henry. Leaving your mom here? We can still turn around. Do you know what you're getting into? No. I don't. But I appreciate you being here with me. What did you mean when you said, let's go home? This is your home, John. And why does Sally call you James? John? Henry... I'm sorry. There's no doors here. And there'll be a good reason for that. Look, John, you tried everything, but now it's time to go home. James, is everything okay? Where are you? I'm in the dome, but I can't go any further. There's no doors. Okay, it'll be fine. Maybe I can help you from here. 
It's true, no doors. Seems to be some sort of safety system. But the code is infinite. I see it. I can guide you. What? John? What the hell? That's... He's changing the code? Wait, what's this? Room layouts. I think I can change the structure of the rooms from here. Whoa. I don't know how you did it, John, but it worked. Do you see the marks on the floor? Stand there. When I change the room, you'll be safe. Wow, super AI at work. Maybe another layout will get us further. It's working! There's a shaft here now. Where? Oh. Hmm. Let Henry scout. Through that very tight shaft? You're not that fat, Henry. You're fine. Ho hopefully there's no evil bots here trying to get rid of us. Security panel. Great. But how does John come here now? You figured it out, Henry. You're amazing. Now what? Try a different room, Dad. Nope, this one sucks. This one, maybe? Wait a moment. Henry... I have to find him. We cloud call Henry? Uh, Henry is actually just stuck wherever. <laughs> okay, that's not good. Maybe it's one of the other versions. Yeah, version 1, we can get Henry out. Like, how does Henry come out, though? Because I can't change myself to be Henry again. Maybe this one? I'll stand here. Whoa. Whoa, I'm- this is a really tight space. Oh, we have to find Henry like this, probably. We just gotta keep shifting the layouts. Security panel! Henry? John, I don't think I was made for these kind of tasks. That's okay. That's okay. We'll figure it out. Now, are we trying to get into that door? No? Okay, I felt like I was already here. That's where we just fished Henry. This has nothing, and this has the gray thing, but we can't get past it. We're back here. Okay. So try this one. And then... Henry! Through the shaft, you say? Yes. What about now, John? <laughs> you tell me! I'm assuming the gray door has opened now. So if we try to do that, then is it three? No, one. One, and then... No, three. Here we go. And now? What now? No, no, just, just calm down for now. Henry, I'll need you when I need you. Oh! I did it. I think. What now? I can't see a way on the other side. Trust me. Oh. Wow. back, Henry. I'll do the rest. Try to wake Sally. But somebody has to take care of you, John. Richard will. Goodbye, Henry. John!
Kurtz and Valerie. The actual couple. The mad evil scientist couple. John, my boy. What are you getting up to? What do you think, Kurtz? You can't lie to me anymore. John? What are these? You too? Today is a big day. You should be at the Infinity Plaza. With your father. With me. It's over, Richard. Don't you understand? John belongs here. Dad? Yes, it's over. Breakpoint will destroy your project. Breakpoint? Let him go. That was close. Maybe we should disconnect now. No, I'll take care of it. I'll head down again. Take care of the kid. Let my boy go! Oh, and they just get to come back so easily. But what about John? How's he gonna come back? James, keep calm. Stay with me, John. Hey, am I interrupting? Charlie, we deleted him. That's Jeff. Hey, Richard, how... Oops. Sounds as if I should leave you alone. Jeff, call your people back. Stop this! Sorry, but there's nothing left to be discussed. I just sent over the last server IDs. Everything will be over in a couple of minutes. And you? You have a front seat for the apocalypse. Be happy that you're not up here. Get off. I need the chair. Raymond! He's escaping! Sorry, kid, but th this thing here, there's no future in it. I'm afraid there's no going back, Jeff. Ah. What? Your body. It's here. Next to the port. You're at breakpoint. Maybe there is something to discuss. Amy, I'm here. What's going on over there? <laughs> Very clever, Richard. But I think I found a body. Stall him. I'll be with you in a second. <laughs> oh no, Raymond. I'll be with you in a second. No! What? What body would he go to? He's... he's gone. He downloaded himself. What? In whose body? Raymond! Hey, oh. how's it going up there? Don't worry. Two minutes into your deliverance. Two in the same body? Okay, do what you want. She also wants to escape. Let her. We'll get you quicker. <coughs> I can't go on anymore. Lydia. Upload me. What? Do it. Please. We're losing too much time. <coughs> My god. Okay, quickly. Come on, come on. If you don't, she'll die. But if you do, she'll also die. Good luck, kiddo. Wow. All the adults just left the kid here. She downloaded herself onto... Almost done. Oh, well, Valerie's dead. But Lydia's here now. What? Lydia? Hey, I am... I'm here. Don't worry. 
Who? Who are you? That's Lydia James. The mistress. <laughs> I'm alive. Sir? Simon, finally! I have the bodies. I don't know how you did it, but thanks. <laughs> James. Mom! Mom is here! I couldn't leave you here alone. Richard? Lydia, we have the bodies. We have to get James into the chair. Come now! Go. Go to your father. Whoa, this is awkward. Ready? Yeah. James? Dad? There you are. Welcome back, James. Sit in the chair, Lydia. I'll get you out of there. We have to get Tracy into the chair. I want Mom to go. That's not your... It's... She's just a... a fragment now. Don't you love her anymore? James, listen. Don't you want her to live? What? Sir, I am afraid we're out of time. Okay, I'm working on the assumption that whoever we don't download is gonna die. It, I, I want both of these people to live. But Lydia is the one who wanted to be uploaded. I don't think she would appreciate you downloading her again, even though it would be into a healthy body. Shoot. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> no. Can you imagine downloading Lydia into Tracy? Then we would just pretend to be a happy family. And then... What? James is gonna hate me for the rest of his life. We're doing Sally. We're doing Sally. Fine. I'm ready. Good day, Richard. Tracy. Oh! I am Sally, Richard. <gasps> I am happy to be with you again. <sighs> oh, but she's been permanently messed up too. The city's collapsing. I thought she would revert back to being the normal Tracy. But no. Lydia. Adam, he's going to die. It was his decision. There's nothing we can do. Maybe we could. I could download it. To me. 
What? The, the whole city? The amount of data is too much. I can do it! You could die, James. I won't allow it. He's not real, James. He doesn't exist. Adam doesn't exist? I have to try! Let him, Richard. No! My man, Adam! He did nothing wrong! He doesn't deserve this! Plus, if we download City 5, we might be able to save Lydia too. But, if we do this, what if James dies? Our son. The sole reason why we've done all of this. We've gotta try. Fine. Okay. Then try. Make it, sir. James! Is everything okay? What if his mind screws up just like Tracy's? Yeah, everything's okay. Oh! Let's go. Go? Where? Home. Oh, he's so nonchalant about it. How am I supposed to feel about this? It worked. Is that it? Oh, what? Oh. Oh. My God. 
Okay, let's try looking at some other choices first. Lydia. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, so Lydia herself actually wants to come back too. Richard, this is unbelievable. The city's collapsing. No, oh, now Sally's all here by herself. Shutting down. Adam, he's going to die. It was his decision. There's nothing we can do. <sighs> Maybe we could. I could download it. To me. What? The, the whole city? The amount of data is too much. I can do it. You could die, James. I won't allow it. He's not real, James. He doesn't exist. Adam doesn't exist? I have to try. Let him, Richard. Richard makes it sound like Adam chose to die. No, he chose to not want to live as a virtual thing, but... Oh my god, like you're... I feel like... He definitely still feels like, oh, I'm Richard, I'm the real one. Adam is the fake one. I hate that. You heard what Jeff said. That up there, there's no future in it. Hmm. Come here, boy. No mom. No Adam. Separation in 10 seconds. Oh my god. My man Adam deserves better than this. Seriously. James? Is everything okay? Let's go. Where are we going? Home. Everyone's eternally sad all day long. James lost his dad, Adam lost his mom, Sally, and is now stuck with Richard and Lydia. It's not all that different. They just don't show the scene where John thinks about City 5 in his head. Home. 
This was a really weird game. I don't know how to feel about it. For starters though, I did think that the ending was pretty exciting with all the, the uploading and the downloading of the bodies. And it almost felt like that it sort of wrapped up properly. I feel like they got something interesting going on here with the core story of how a man, his wife, and his son, and it turns out that his wife took up some offer from some mad scientists, turning their son into something that transcends humanity, pretty much. But I feel like the actual execution of all these elements was just not ideal at all. There were so many things that were going on that in the end, didn't really matter even one bit. Like the ending here, we never got a proper resolution to the whole breakpoint and the Raymond Kurtz thing, so what's happening now? City 5 is dead, but we know that they're working on City 6 already. So what's the point of destroying this? Is it just gonna keep happening or what? And it seems like Jeff Kosowski and Raymond Kurtz might be sharing the same body now or something? Like, lots of little things here and there that just didn't seem to matter at all by the end. I don't know, this game is very strange because it's clearly taken care to have proper high quality voice acting and all this nice cinematography, nice graphics and all that. So it's clear they care, but the way the story was told was just very confusing. Now that we're at the end here, you can think back and realize that a lot of the scenes that we had didn't really amount to much. Like the whole part with Lydia and the smart home and the cybersex thing. Cool to see aesthetically, but I feel like it doesn't really add much to the core story of the whole transhumanism stuff. And I get that that was supposed to be like a portrayal of, oh, this is how technology is gonna change our lives in the future. And I felt like there was a lot of commentary on, you know, how technology will affect us in the future, stuff like that too. A lot of the dialogue and conversations are crafted in a way that makes it obvious that they're like, hey, this is commentary on technology. The whole Lydia smart home part, but also stuff like the conversations with Simon about his memories. Oh, it's deleted now. There's no backups and that's just that. It's gone forever. And how, oh, storing all this data means that you can make another world entirely. And what about the whole thing with Adam's dad in the memory lane thing? We just talked to him once and that was it. I don't think it's necessarily bad that they want to talk about some of these things, but I feel like... They tried to talk about so many different things that the core message and the story got completely diluted. It's a bit of a shame because I felt like everything was going so well before the preview version ended, which is uh, where we find Jeff in the nightclub and he explains that, oh, Richard and Adam are the same. But then after that, it just felt like, oh, like what? It slowly just went off rails and like Charlie. That guy literally appeared for one scene, had one or two lines, and he got deleted. And then Jeff went into his body, his avatar body. Like, what? <laughs> I'm just trying to think here, because they made it such a big deal. They were like, oh yeah, you gotta find Charlie, okay? Richard, Adam, you gotta find Charlie. And then, nothing. I enjoyed the transhumanist story overall, but it all just feels like a really big missed opportunity. And with a game like this, where interactivity is super super low it's just a the occasional mini game and stuff i feel like you really really gotta nail down the story part and there were definitely lots of interesting parts but i don't feel like bang they nailed it no that didn't happen especially not by the way they treated adam at the end man what the heck that part was a little bit jarring too because for the majority of the story adam and richard were basically main characters but then by the end there Adam just got wiped and, well, you either save him or you don't, but either way, doesn't really matter to him because he's just going to be there or not and that's, that's it. They just kind of threw him into the trash. Hmm. Um, overall, state of mind, lots of cool things. I think the visuals are gorgeous. They really are. It might not be a perfect game, but I think there's still things to like about it. Definitely. And with that, this was Wellens' playthrough of State of Mind. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed playing it. And I will see you all in another place, in another time. Bye!